I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to be talking about strawberry allergies in infants. Now food allergies are relatively common in children and strawberry allergies are among the more common food allergies. Now the symptoms of a food allergy in young children usually involve the intestine, so vomiting, diarrhea, uh, cramping, especially blood in the stool, may all be signs of a food allergy. That said, they could also be signs of another really serious intestinal problem, like an infection or even a surgical problem like an intussusception. Therefore, you don't want to assume that those symptoms are due to a food allergy until a doctor has evaluated that infant to see what he or she can find. Usually stool studies, an exam of the abdomen, and even x-rays can be very helpful in figuring those things out. Food allergies may also manifest with a rash. The most common type of rash is an itchy rash with large raised lesions that may move around from place to place. We call these hives or the fancier term urticaria. Now, with food allergies in children particularly, a lot of the fruits will just have a local reaction, some itching or redness in and around the mouth, and that's all that happens. So if you see that after introduction of a specific food, you've got a pretty good guess that there's a food allergy going on. What do you do? Well, avoid the food. Now, it's often difficult to know what food caused a given food allergy. Sometimes you need to keep a food diary, keep track of what's going on, and then you can sort of figure out based on what was given before the rash or whatever allergic reaction occurred, what the cause of the allergy was. So food diary may be very helpful. There may be also some benefit from allergy testing, either with a blood draw or with skin scratch testing. That's best managed by an allergist, a, speciali a specialist who understands how to make the best diagnosis in children. Now the good news about strawberry food allergies, as opposed to some other food allergies, is they are rarely life-threatening. A baby who gets wheezing, shortness of breath, swelling, or any sort of distress after eating a food obviously needs to be examined immediately. That's a scary, frightening allergy. But the good news is that's usually more of a peanut allergy, a soy allergy, even a milk protein allergy, as compared to a strawberry allergy. So if strawberries mashed up or pasted or whatever, your favorite thing to give your infant. You don't need to be terribly concerned about food allergies unless those symptoms start happening. Talking about strawberry allergies in infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.